Hello everyone, this is Dave Eddington, National Product Manager with Accumulators Inc. and I'd like you to welcome you to our factory in Houston, Texas. Today we're going to do a video on how to pre-charge a 3000 PSI bladder accumulator, both top and bottom. And with me to the demonstration is our factory manager, Mark Weaver. Hello. Mark is wearing safety glasses. As you know, we're very much concerned about safety in our demonstrations. One of the things you need also to be concerned about and pay attention to is the fact that a 3000 PSI accumulator has a different gas valve than a 6000 PSI. That gas valve is shown below. Another thing we need to be very concerned about is make sure you properly locate the shell and bladder prior to precharge. That's important for the precharging procedure to be done correctly. All right, let's see how this goes, Mark. Connect the regulator to the gas bottle and then connect the CNG hose to the pressure regulator. Remove the solid protective cap from the gas valve stem. Then remove the valve protective cap. Install the charging assembly by screwing on the chuck. Do not over tighten the chuck. Turn the chuck clockwise to depress the gas valve core. Install the swivel connection to the tank valve. Very slowly open the nitrogen gas valve. Adjust the pressure to 29 psi. Hold this pressure for three to five minutes to make sure the bladder fully extends. Once the poppet is fully extended, the accumulator is then ready to be brought up to the required precharge slowly. Increase the precharge in 100 psi increments. To prevent the gas temperature in the bladder from changing too rapidly, continue to do this until you reach your required precharge level. Then let the accumulator rest for 10 minutes to allow the gas temperature to stabilize. When you reach the correct precharge, turn off the nitrogen gas. Turn the handle counterclockwise to allow the valve core to reseal the bladder. Bleed the pressure from the charging assembly using the bleed valve. Remove the charging assembly from the gas valve by loosening the right angle chuck. Spray soapy water on the valve to check for leaks. Replace the valve cap. Reinstall the protective cap, tightening with a wrench gently. Your accumulator is now ready to be put back into service. The procedure to precharge a top repairable accumulator only varies slightly from a bottom repairable. Remove the solid protective cap. Remove the valve cap. Now install the top repairable valve extension. You are now ready to continue the procedure that is shown in the previous portion of the video. Well, thank you, Mark. That was very informative. Mark, it looks like you've been doing this for a while. How long have you been building accumulators? 27 years. Can you hear that, folks? 27 years. That's what we have at Accumulators Inc. We can bring you the greatest amount of experience available. In fact, our entire management staff has over 100 years' experience. 
and we try to bring that to you in the video. Appreciate you paying attention. Now some of the tools we used in the video are shown below, including the charging kit and our special tools. If you have information that you want to get about this, the tools or anything about the equipment that was used or any questions about the video, please contact the information shown below. And thank you very much. We appreciate your time and look forward to hearing more from you in the future.